Now, can we do any better by any alternative approach to rounding the relaxation? Well, what we have proved is that for every input GH to the sparse cut problem, the actual optimum of the problem is at most order of log n times the optimum of the leyden row relaxation. Now, suppose the G is a deregular graph whose expansion is a constant. And for a fixed D, as we will see later, it's possible to construct arbitrarily big graphs where every graph in the family has expansion that is at least some absolute constant. In fact, we could take D to be 3, and this constant, maybe it's 1 over 100 or 1 over 20. Now, suppose that H is a clique. Then sigma GH is also an absolute constant, because this will be the same as the sparsity of G, which after a factor of 2 is the same as the expansion of G. But I want to argue that the optimum of the leyden rao relaxation is actually at most order of uh, 1 over log n. So this relationship between uh, sparse cut and uh, leyden rao relaxation is best possible up to the constant that multiplies the log n. To see this, let's define the uv to be the length of the shortest path from uh, u to v in g. And now let's consider what is the cost of the solution in the leyden rao relaxation. This is going to be eh over eg, summation over all edges of g of uh, the uv divided by summation over all edges of uh, h of uh, the uv. Well, remember, g is a constant degree graph which has constant expansion, and h is a clique. And d is the shortest path distance in g. h has order of n squared edges. G has order of n edges, if the degree is a constant. So this is order of n. Now notice that every edge has distance d u v 1, because the distance from u to v in the shortest path metric according to G is 1 if u v is an edge. So here the numerator is order of n. It's uh, 1 times the number of edges of G. And what about the denominator? Here we are summing the shortest path distance from U to V for uh, all pairs of vertices, for all the edges of a clique. Now G is a constant degree graph. That means that if I look at every vertex u of g, and then I look at all the other vertices that can be reached by some path of uh, length l, but well, the number of uh, vertices v that can be reached in this way is at most uh, the degree of the graph to the power of l. So if let's say L is one quarter log to the base D of N, the number of uh, vertices V that I can find within distance L from U is going to be at most uh, the fourth root of N, so a tiny fraction of the total number of vertices. So this means that when I look at this summation, all but a tiny fraction of uh, the pairs UV are a distance at least uh, some constant times log N. So this summation will be at least uh, some constant times uh, n squared log n. And so the whole thing is at most uh, order 1 over log n as claimed. 
So the rounding coming from uh, Burgen's theorem for the laden row relaxation is best possible. It also means that as a result in geometry, Burgen's theorem is best possible. That there are distances that satisfy the triangle inequality, that no matter how you try to embed them into an L1 space, you're going to see distances being distorted by at least a logarithmic factor. And an example of uh, a metric that satisfies the triangle inequality and that cannot be embedded into L1 with a error less than a logarithmic factor is the shortest path metric on an expander of bounded degree.